back to the Meeple Marathon. I have my uh, storage solution uh, ready to go and show off for you for a Clank Catacombs. Um, uh, so again, I uh, despise baggies for the most part, but for right now, uh, you'll notice that I do still have the uh, kind of player pieces in baggies. I haven't quite figured out what I, I want to do with those, but obviously we've got the instruction manual on the top here and then this big board here tucked in the corner because you'll notice a lot of my tokens are in this 3400 Plano series and it just doesn't quite fit in there you got to kind of tilt it a little bit but as long as you put the high end towards one edge of the box then that uh, the, the clank board will fit all of my cards are sleeved um, at this point and so you know, there's plenty of room in here to sleeve them. You will notice that if they stand straight up, they're too high. So uh, do have it set up so that they can kind of lay down at an angle. I have used the uh, little tabs that are built in to this um, cardboard insert here just to separate them out. These are like the reserves here in the back and then everything else here in the front. And that just is gonna kind of keep them from sliding around. What I have here, um, is three bags. Uh, I picked up these bags in like a, I don't know, like a six pack, I think, uh, from Michael's. They're a little small, to be honest with you. Uh, I can get two fingers in there, but I certainly can't get my whole hand in there. And they all look identical. So down the road, I'm going to be hoping, I'm going to be looking to change these up. But they function uh, for now, and they serve the exact purpose of the randomization of the minor secrets, major secrets, and the prisoner tiles. So again, I will eventually want a way to um, be able to determine which is which without kind of feeling around or even peeking in it and shaking it back up again. But there's really no reason why you need to create a pile off to the side, make sure they're all flipped over and randomized when you can just use a baggie for something like this. So again, we saw the prisoners in this one. This one is the you know, major secrets, the larger question mark circles, and here we have the minor secrets. Basically, every time you flip over a tile and you've revealed one of those symbols, you're going to pull these things out of the bag, or if you unlock a treasure chest, or, you know. Um, so yeah, these fit just fine right there. There's plenty of room to get a thicker bag. Uh, you can even probably flip flop this bag. So this is the bag that comes with the game. And for right now, I just have um, the cubes in there, still in their baggies. Because again, I'm not 100% sure, do I want to dump everything in here and just, I could easily pull out the meeples. Um, that way at the beginning of the game, you're like dumping everything out. Or do I just put the black ones in there? But that doesn't, that seems to be wasting this bag as far as a storage solution is concerned. So for right now, I still have them all here in the bags. Each one of these has a little silica gel packet in them. Don't throw those away. Keep those tucked away in your box somewhere. That's gonna keep these cardboard tiles from warping and spinning on you when you're playing. It'll keep everything flat. So for right now, this is just everything in that bag there. And then you can see down below here, I basically just have the tiles divided in a, a two equal stacks. The large catacombs tile, the starting tile is on the bottom. You could easily put it on the top. And then this guy's just, you know, dropped on top there. That gives you a place to put your Plano box. Now, I, you could also do it this way. You could pick up and just have one stack. If you don't pick up the bottom one. In this case, you do have to have the uh, starting tile there on the bottom. But you could just do it that way. Put this down on the bottom. And then this just kind of sits there at an angle. If you do it this way, uh, I would move these, which are not nearly as thick, over here, right? These just take up a lot less room, they're not nearly as thick, and they're gonna lay below, well below this, and then this thing just goes right there. So kind of two ways you can do this, but um, I feel like the bags are really nice because you can just pull these off, set them off to the side, and you're set up. Then everything in here is stuff that you're either gonna pull out uh, automatically, like your artifacts here. You're gonna pull them out and stack them up. You're gonna pull out the dragon meeple here. You're gonna pull out the market tiles and the golden monkeys. These are gonna go onto the board uh, in places. And then your money and your lock picks 
this, you know, Plano boxes make it easy to reach in here, pull out what you need, and throw them back in there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Super simple. Again, this is a Plano 3400 series. You can find these on Amazon. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at any, you know, Dick's Sporting is Best Pro Shop. Anywhere that sells fishing supplies is almost guaranteed to have one of those. I will put a link in the description below for these bags if I can find them back on Michael's again. That's just something I had on hand. But I do know that you can find velvet bags on Amazon and places like Miniature Market have them. Your friendly local game store is going to have them. So just to track you one down. And um, yeah, here you can see it very easily. Everything goes back into the box. And so that's going to do it for our storage solution for Clank Catacombs. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see additional Clank Catacombs coverage, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.